Well, I finally got the lower done, which was uh, from the 80% receiver. You know, it's milled, all the parts are installed, it's DPMS, parts are in it. And uh, I want to actually show that I put an A1 stock on it instead of for going for a carbine stock. The A1 stock uses everything the same as the A2. The only difference is it doesn't use a spacer. Um, just a standard, this is, an, this is an extra buffer spring and buffer. You know, they really don't wear out. I don't see any reason to get, you know, high-tech stuff, you know, whether than uh, whatever the hell a damn rifle came with from the military. Uh, except it's semi-automatic, of course, but, uh, you know, um, but here's the difference. You see the difference in length? Now, the longer stock actually feels better for target shooting, but you can shoulder the shorter stock faster, especially if you got some heavy clothes on and things like that. So, you know, I opted for that. Um, this, you know, I got four of these Grendel magazines. They fit a little tight, and they're not like real tight, but they don't drop out. And it's not because of this receiver, because it's just like that on the Colt. It's the same way. But if you put the AR-15 magazines in it, uh, the 223s, they fit fine. So, well, I don't want to say they don't fit. I mean, they fit fine. I mean, they just don't drop out like uh, butter. Like, here's the uh, Colt. So, you know, if you press the magazine release, you know, it's not coming out. You can pull it out real easy. It slides in there easy, but I don't like that when it doesn't just drop out. So, I don't know, maybe it's not a big deal, but just something i got to keep in mind. I can really consider this more of a hunting rifle. You know, maybe get some five-rounders magazines for this. But this takes these rounds, that's usually it's a 123 grain. It's it's a great it's a 6.5 millimeter so you know it's the Grendel to me it's like you can really you, know, you can pretty much take any game and around with this damn thing and it's real light it's you know it's a bush rifle basically it's got the, not the real you know it's it's a shorter barrel not real short though but it, and it's got a shorter stock on it um, now the takedown pins I found out. That this thing actually, uh, I was able to put the, before I painted this, I was able to put this receiver on, on the lower, the lower on any of the uppers, real problem, no problem, they fit. But after I painted it this with the epoxy, two-part epoxy, um, what do you call that, Dorica, just a little thickness of this, actually I took some sandpaper right here and just wore it down off the top because that was having, giving me some problems. Where I couldn't um, close it. Now I can get the pin closed by hand, and I could push it out by hand most of the way. And that's the thing that sucks. And the most of the way is, is the deal, right? So press it out. Can't quite get it all the way out. <laughs> so I'd have to take it. I think once I shoot it a little bit, it'll be fine. So, but you know, I could press it out no problem and it doesn't damage the round I don't really have to push it press it too hard but it's brand new you know so once you shoot it I don't like it when I don't mind if the front takedown pin got stuck but I don't like it when the rear takedown pin gets stuck because that's the thing you really need to pull out your bolt and all that stuff you know to clean everything so but yeah, it uh, should be all right. It should be all right. And, I'm, I, don't, and I got this stock from uh, Fulton Armory. Uh, you know, I was looking all over the place for... I was trying to make a decision about... I don't want to go nothing... No, no fancy stuff. I just want to plain... You know, not cheap stuff. All made in USA. Good stuff. But nothing like real expensive. You know, I don't want to go overboard one way or the other. Um... But I, I was, I didn't really like the carbine stocks that that they have the six positions on them, and but I like the the only thing about the A1 stock being a little bit shorter like that. You know, if you're target shooting for score, you want a little longer stock, right? But if you're gonna hunt with this thing, 
and you got a coat on or something like that you you want a little shorter stock you really don't need a carbine stock i don't want any moving parts i like the fact that you got the cleaning kit back here and all this kind of garbage and it's just plain jane you know there's nothing there's nothing like you gotta it slides up and down you know it's just a plain fixed stock cleaning kit goes in it it's got the stock buffer spring stock buffer it's in it's already in here you know um but uh this was i was i was having a hard time finding an a1 stock they were selling them separate i forgot what the hell it was selling those but basically, this is Fulton uh, Armory, U Mom USA, but the stock is made with the same materials as the A2 stock, yet it's the A1 length. And that's good if you're like, you know, you just say, you know, you're out in a bush, you're freaking, you know, you're going to be hunting a deer. And this thing actually is the perfect round for hunting a deer. Crap, this is, be, this is ideal as all hell. Um... You know, you want to get the rifle up in your shoulder. You might be kind of cold out. You might, you might have extra clothes on. I don't want to go with carbine garbage. I just, you know, it's not garbage, but I, mean, I wanted, I wanted something just what it was, you know, regular. And cleaning kits in here. So just if you got a coat on, you can get this up in your shoulder a little faster. If you're going for score, like you're, you're looking for, you know, target shooting, you want that extra length. You definitely want that. But this is not a target rifle. This is like a, a bush rifle, you know. It's, uh, you know, it's like what is this, 16-inch barrel or something like that? You know, whatever the hell it is. You know, whatever they sold me, whatever the hell it is. It's a 16-inch. Usually, usually the Grendels got the 24-inch barrel, and they're shooting for. What are you doing, Goldie? He's over here checking it out. So anyway, not bad. Not bad. I'm not, I'm not going to be too fussy about these magazines, but I'm going to take notes. I don't like it when they don't drop out like that. The, the pin in the back, you know, it's really not too bad. Because I can... He's, he's freaking going in the cage, man. Freaking goofball. I can, uh, I can, I can close this up. And uh, you can see... I can snap that shut with my finger, and I could push it in with my finger, but I can't quite get it all the way out. And I think after I shoot it a while, it'll be all right, though. I can I could push it out with a round, though, no problem. And I think it'll be okay. I'd rather have it a little on the loose side than on a little on the tight side, but that's not a big deal because it is brand new. It is machined right to specifications. Now this one. This one has no problem because, you know, it's been shot a bunch of times. So, you know, what the hell? I mean, this one's been shot a whole slew of times. So, there you go. But, uh, yeah, anyway. Anyway, so. Uh, magazines, not a big deal. I'm sure they function fine. They just don't drop out. So, if I put this in here. First, I was thinking it was the paint, you know. You know, the paint is doing this shit. Nah. It's uh it just that they are. So get this baby in there. Well this one might be a tight mag. Uh, no it ain't. It just had it in a wrong angle. It goes in there no problem. It just doesn't drop out when I press the magazine release. You know, if it's an AR fifteen mag, it fall right out, I'll show you what I mean. So same rifle, here's an AR Stoner AR-15 magazine, just press the magazine release on the side, falls right out, right? That's what it should do. I don't know why these aren't like that, but probably not a big deal, not a big deal. Not too much of a problem. I guess maybe a thousandth of an inch or something is what it's doing, but you know, not a problem really. Uh, that's that is a problem if you're in battle or something like that but it's not a problem for hunting or something and actually I can't hunt with 30 round magazines anyway it's not a problem for target shooting um, but I'm gonna make sure that if I get some more magazines that they drop out the way they should so this project's done and uh, came out pretty good 
it's uh you got to kind of take your time with these things but pfft, you know I don't know, it's probably easier just to buy this shit all complete, to tell you the truth. But, <laughs> the good thing about it is, you know, I understand, you know, if anything goes wrong, I know how to fix it. And, uh, everything in it works fine. It triggers nice. It's got a nice trigger in there. Really pretty smooth. So, for a stock trigger, you know, I put some oil on it. And it should operate good. It's got the cheap scan Chinese scope on there. Now this cheap scan Chinese scope, I've had I had it on the other rifle. I know why I didn't like it. It's it's a little cockeyed, just a hair, but it always stays zero and it always works. It's all bore sighted, so it should be fine. But anyway, it's a good it's a good thing to do this because you do understand, you know, the weapon. And cool, the cool thing about the AR-15 platform is, like I said, it's not just a 223. You got the well. Actually, I, if I didn't know, if they had the 300 uh, blackout some years ago, uh, I would opt it for that instead of the Grendel. The Grendel is better, you know, more ballistically, but you know, you can use the same magazines. You can use the uh, uh, with the grin, with you know, you don't, the uh, the only thing is a barrel change. Basically, that's the only difference. You know, I don't need different magazines. I can use the same brass. I can use, I can make um, 300 blackout out of the 223 brass, and it would be good enough to hunt with. That's for sure. Um, but you know, this is what I got, so I'll go with it. It's not bad though. It's not bad. This should be a great little bush rifle, to tell you the truth. You know, a little bit shorter stock, get it up in your shoulder. I'd recommend this. I mean, it's not good for target shooting. Uh, you want the longer stock, but it's the little shorter stock. It's it's quicker, and I don't think you know. I just I'm just not a fan of those changed position. This has got the, it's got you know a regular good stock weld on it. It's a full stock, and uh, gets up in the shoulder faster if you got a coat on. You got your cleaning kit you can put in the back. It's got your, uh, you know, your your uh, thing for your sling. Good to go, right? Good to go. So there you go.